What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today I have a styling video for my Vetma derbies. Now I got these at the beginning of the year, I think, the beginning of the year. And uh, I uh, got them because I kind of wanted to give my Balenciaga derbies a break. As you guys know, like, I mean, I've been wearing these for the last like year and a half consistently, honestly. And to be honest, like I always say, you know, like if something really goes well with everything that you have in your wardrobe, just honestly wear it. Wear it as much as you possibly can because that is the reason why you bought it. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys four different outfits of how I am personally going to style my Vetmon Derby during the summer. I think these are quite exciting out of sort of like the shoe, the no shoelaces and the chunkiness of them. They really look similar to my uh, Balenciaga Derbies, but one thing that I like about these is that they're just so easy to throw on because they have no shoelaces and uh, I'm still breaking them in. Uh, to be honest because I do find that I could have gone like half a size up because they are a bit stiff and tight but I think that once I kind of break them in properly they'll fit great so yeah let's get into it with the first outfit I actually have something that I'm gonna be wearing quite a lot during the spring season like I've mentioned in the past videos that I've been doing these styling videos some of the things that I've incorporated in my wardrobe is colors, but also vests. I find vests are such a good transitional piece. They're a great piece to layer and just to wear on its own. So for this first outfit, I have my Prada trousers, which these ones are a wool material. So to be honest, they do tend to be a little bit warm. But again, in the spring here, the weather tends to fluctuate a lot. So it's cold, it's hot. And I feel like this is a perfect pair of trousers to wear when you're sort of unsure of what the weather is gonna look like. So at the bottom, of course, I have my uh, Vetmont Derbies, which I'm gonna be pairing with all the outfits. And at the top, I have the Wuyang Mi vest with just a simple, clean white t-shirt. I definitely think this is just such a simplistic, but still such a nice outfit to throw on, especially Especially when you're in that season where you're transitioning like I said uh, you know we stop wearing coats we're now sort of still layering but not layering as much a combination of a vest with a t-shirt is always such a good way to layer in my opinion I find that I've been doing this quite a lot in these past weeks and it's been such a good way to stay slightly warm but not too hot and of course like the trousers for me like I always say when it comes to derbies you need to find a good pair of trousers and these products with sort of like the flared silhouette that they have are absolutely perfect for a pair like uh, for a pair of derbies really any pair of derbies it could be these Vetmar, it could be some Doc Martens but the flared pair of trousers with a good pair of derbies is always going to be a good look in my opinion. So yeah, the first outfit is quite simplistic. Of course, at the end, I kind of just incorporated some uh, a crossover bag by Stevie Sale. This bag, I've actually really enjoyed pairing it with so many of my outfits. And then just some accessories and rings. No beanie, just kept it pretty simple. I just recently got a haircut. But yeah, um, first outfit quite simplistic again it's all about the silhouettes for me as I've always mentioned you know the flare trousers with sort of like the nice tight vest with just a simple clean t-shirt and some nice pair of shoes these derbies are definitely um, a good uh, statement shoe I find you know the no laces the chunkiness it, they're always gonna look good if you find some good pair of trousers to wear them with so that was it on the first outfit it's quite simplistic but again I feel like there is style and simplicity and there's also different ways that you can still layer like I did here and not be too hot especially during the spring so yeah that was it on the first outfit we're gonna hop right into the second outfit so uh, for outfit number two, I've been telling you guys I am trying to incorporate more colors into my wardrobe, right? So uh, for this outfit here, we have just these beautiful new Dries Van Noten pair of trousers that I recently picked up. They were in my last vlog video. I'll leave a card here if you guys want to check that one out. 
But anyway, uh, these trousers are definitely gonna be a go-to for me personally during the spring and the summer because they have such a nice flowy look to them. I love the way they drape and I love sort of how comfortable they look and how comfortable they actually are. And I think that they're gonna be a great pair to pair with these Vetmont Derbies. And then at the top, I have this beautiful shirt by the brand Tanaka, which is a New York based uh, label. I recently came across this brand. I really love some of the pieces that they have. I feel like they're quite minimal, quite simplistic, and this is definitely one of those shirts that you're gonna be wearing a lot of during the summer and the spring. This outfit definitely reminds me of sort of like a Marnie vibe. You know, I love the colors. I love how clean and simplistic it is. And this is definitely what I'm trying to go for during the spring and the summer. Of course, like I could have kind of layered it a little bit, but I really just wanted to keep it very simplistic and minimal. I think the colors are just so good. And of course, and of course, like for me, I feel like if I'm wearing a lot of colors, I still do want to keep it quite minimal and quite simplistic. So this is where the Vetma Pair Derbies I personally think looks really good with this outfit. It's just a simple, clean pair of black shoes. The no laces kind of gives it a bit more flair and a bit more like uh, style. And then to finish it off, just throw on a crossover body bag, throw your phone in there, whatever you need. And of course some accessories, but this is definitely one of those looks that I feel like personally is gonna be my go-to during the spring and during the summer. I love the colors on this. I love how simplistic and flowy this whole look looks. You don't really have to do much else other than a pair of shades. As you guys know, I definitely love incorporated, incorporating uh, sunglasses into my style so this is where I feel like this look would be finished off with just a nice black beanie a pair of shades and you're pretty much good to go the thing that I really like is that the colors aren't too um, flashy in my opinion I feel like the outfit still looks put together and I feel like it still looks like you know what you're doing because a lot of the times the issue that I find with certain colors is that either I find that you know the person is doing a little bit too much you know or uh, they're trying and they failed or something you know I don't know but for me personally I always say that like if I'm gonna incorporate colors I still do need to keep a bit of neutrals into the outfit. So I'll have like a black pair of derbies or like a black crossover bag or just a black beanie with some black shades because I feel like it blends everything back together, you know, and it makes the outfit looks really solid. So definitely love this outfit. I definitely think this is one of those looks that I'm gonna be incorporating again, like I said, a lot. You know, the shirt fits really well. And as always, of course, you can kind of unbutton the the buns on the shirt and just throw in a white tank top like I did here and you're pretty much good to go. This is definitely one of those shirts that could be worn with just a pair of trousers like these or like a nice slim fitted pair of trousers. It will still really look really good. Of course, like I wanted to play around with colors, but I feel like for this outfit, if you really don't wanna like do too much or add too many colors, you could definitely still wear the shirt with just like a simple pair of uh, black trousers and some black derbies and the outfit will still look really good. I feel like these type of colors are just so nice to have in your wardrobe because anytime you kind of get tired of wearing like your darker clothes, this shirt or uh, these uh, pair of trousers could still come in handy whenever you kind of are just like, you know what, I'm tired of wearing my black trousers. This is a definitely nice pair of trousers to go to or just a nice shirt to throw on during those really, really hot uh, summer days or even spring days. So yeah, that was it on the outfit number two. Super happy with this one. We're gonna hop right into the final outfit. So for the final outfit, I actually went the complete opposite of outfit number two. So we went back to an all black outfit. But like I said, guys, you know, all black doesn't have to be boring. You can still kind of make it fun and just include some silhouettes, some proportions, and just really make it look good. So for this third outfit, I try to keep it simplistic, but also still give you guys something nice. So on feet, we have again, 
the Vetmar Derbies uh, paired with my 80s leather um, jeans. Yes, these are jeans, leather jeans, which I really do love incorporating in my styling videos, but I also do love wearing these quite a lot because I find that like they go really well with my boots. You know, I've worn them a lot with my boots, but also I find that like if I want to pair them with a nice pair of derbies, they still look really good. I love how slim they are and I love how they fit really well. And at the top, we have just a simple look of just a crop cardigan by Youths and Balanclava that you guys have seen me style this um, countless times and just a nice clean white tank top. This is definitely one of those looks that's simplistic, but again, still kind of gives you that stylish, like really nice look and also playing around with sort of like the proportions and the silhouettes like you have the oversized um, uh, cardigan with the long sleeves and the little crop that looks really nice and just a nice white tank top to kind of break away from the old black and the leather trousers with some derbies. I definitely like these type of looks because they're more simplistic but you still look really good. And on top of that, the one thing that I really like is that you, you're you comfortable, right? You feel comfortable, you feel good. And again, like I said, all black doesn't always have to be boring. It's just all about how you pair it together and what you pair your jeans with or your cardigan with or your shoes with. Because a lot of the times if, um, you really like how each piece looks individually. You can make it work with so many things in your wardrobe. Like for me, like I always say, I like to buy pieces that I feel like I can I can incorporate in my wardrobe with pretty much anything. And these Vetmont Derbies have been literally that. You know, I can wear them with a flared pair of trousers. I can wear them with a nice pair of jeans or I can wear them with a nice straight leg pair of trousers like the Dries Van Noten ones. So yeah. That was it on the third outfit and that is going to conclude today's video guys thank you all so much for watching it is highly appreciated leave a comment down below on the favorite outfit and which one you like best and what would you have changed and as always guys for all these outfits you can find me on instagram greg and tore where i post regular outfit pictures i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching peace out